I'm Gideon Marcus, award-winning author and historian, and I bring the past to life. At schools, museums, libraries, businesses, and conventions, I engage audiences with knowledge and humor on topics like humanity's first steps into space, Apollo, how we got to the moon, the women pioneers of space science, JFK, a legislative legacy, what science fiction got wrong and right, The Twilight Zone, a science fiction masterpiece. Is this a man on a galactic journey or a traveler through the Twilight Zone? Dr. Nancy Grace Roman in college uh, wanted to take her second year in mathematics rather than her fifth year in Latin. <laughs> and her teacher said, why would a girl want to know math? She took it anyway. So this is what was happening to Explorer 1 and Explorer 3. It wasn't that there was no radiation up there. It was there was so much radiation that it was swamping the equipment. How many of you saw Hidden Figures? Yeah. Hidden Figures was a good movie. Not the most accurate movie. It was very Hollywood. Uh, worth making. I'm glad it spotlit things. Now I'm going to tell you the real story. The hidden story behind the Hidden Figures. We're going to go to the moon before this decade is out. Plus, interviews with a time traveler, historical and pop culture perspectives of the world exactly 55 years ago to the day. Raise a hand and ask anything. Those bugs are really cute, actually, and I think they're going to set a trend. Um, someday we might even be getting small cars from Japan. I mean, we already get small TVs and radios from there, so why not cars? <laughs> Everybody knows what these are, right? You cannot get away from these in 1964. This is one of the drawbacks. The music is good, the food is full of fat, and gas costs 25 cents a gallon. But these are everywhere. You go into an airplane and it's just smoke, wall to wall, even in non-smoking sections, because the smoke doesn't obey the rules. So it's not all great in 1964. Also, if you happen to be a woman or a color other than white, it's also not the best time to live. Although people are marching to change that. So how is Highway 101 going to have to Curvy and long. I, I can't wait until they finish the, the, the Interstate 5. But you know, and maybe we'll need two freeways at some point for San Diego. I don't know. Unless you want to take the 395 through all the fields or whatever. She's 15, which means she was born in 1949, which means she has literally lived in the shadow of a nuclear arms race, because 1949 was when the Soviets detonated their first atomic device. So she has never known a world without the specter of atomic destruction. Sleep well tonight. <laughs> I'm looking forward to working with you. Drop me a line.